All right, so in the last video, we got the basics of how to work with a local storage, and it's literally just as easy. There's nothing more special about it that you really need to know. But let's look into the actual uh, methods, how you could interact with the API and actually work with the API instead of working directly with the components. So I I'm just going to take our, our um, local storage information here, and I'm going to put it inside of our if statement. I While you were in here, I added a curly bra bracket as I was experimenting around. So let's let's look at it. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to create a new local storage um, property or set a new value to our property, and I could use a set item. Set item works the exact same way as just approaching the item directly, the property directly, and putting information in it. And we could put in here whatever we want, so maybe this will be welcome back Ben, because now we know that Ben is there, let's say. All right, so we have our local storage, we're setting our item, welcome back Ben, we could save this information. As soon as we do that, we could literally go back into our browser, click on refresh first time around, I don't know if we'll see the information or not, we won't, but second time around when we click on refresh, we'll see welcome back Ben, and that is because we're updating the information after we already updated our document. Perfect. So we, now we know how to work with the set item, let's just look really quickly in, in our console. And we're going to do the same thing for getting the information. So this time around, local storage, get item. And this time around, again, I'm just going to approach the item I want to get. And let's say we want to get visit count. And literally, we just sent in a string to it, and we get that information back. And we'll be able to see that tracing out in our log file. So if we go back into our browser, click on refresh, we'll see in our log that this is visit number 17. All right, so the exact same thing we, that we did using properties could be done also using functions, using the set and the get. Obviously, using properties is more convenient. Um, but in the next video, we're going to look at a few properties that will, a few methods that probably be convenient, such as how do you actually remove a specific item and how do you remove all the items? How do you reset? All right, so we'll see that in the next video.